Amazon Prime, you have them coming out and trying to really compete with Netflix. And I'm not saying they're doing a bad job, but they don't, they can't match the caliber of shows that Netflix puts out consistently. And it feels like they've been kind of lagging behind. Now that's kind of changed in my opinion with the release of Am- uh, Man in the High Castle season two. Now when season one came out, I thought it was spectacular. You check our channel. One of our highest watched videos actually is uh, the pilot review when that pilot came out during pilot season. And then I watched the first season and I, I really enjoyed it. It's a really cool story. If you don't know what it is, uh, it's about the, it's set in the Philip K. Dick novel area. It's where the Nazis in Japan won World War II the Nazis have everything to the Rockies uh, from the East Coast to the Rockies. Japan has everything from the West Coast to the Rockies. And then the Rockies are kind of a neutral zone between the two states. And it's just it's kind of about these some of the resistance people, people fighting against the oppressive regimes of both the Nazis and the Japanese. And some other interesting things. There's a guy who makes films and, uh, and they're films of like the future so or the past. Or the future past. It's, it's really weird. You'd have to watch the show to really get a good synopsis of that. But they finally came out with season two. And season two, I want to say it's been about a year and a half since we got season one. Which is, I mean, all right, as long as you make it good. My only problem with season two was it starts off and they don't preface season one. So you have to go back and rewatch season one to really jump into season two. Not the worst thing in the world because season one, again, was really good. I just like it when shows kind of take you, like, okay, maybe you don't remember since it was a half ago so you don't have to watch 10 hours more of something you've already seen let's just give you a little filler and then here you go and, and that's what they they didn't do so that that was a little disappointing but everything else in the show is very very well done the acting is spectacular it's top notch i love the directing the the script writing is good the way they pace the story uh, in season one felt a little slow at times season two feels like they're just blitzkrieging <laughs> so and yes i did say that on purpose because it is about nazis Ba-dum-tsh. Yay. Brendan didn't like the joke. It's a reference to uh, German military terminology tactics. No, I, I didn't say explain the joke. I just said you didn't like the joke. That's that's how I express my dislike for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, so, yeah. To explain a joke, Brian. Well, but, um, it isn't. But, yeah, so it... it I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed season two so far. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't quite finished it. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff I have to watch recently. Like, I watched Medici, Man in High Castle, Pro, lots of things I've been watching. But it, it has been entertaining. And if you are a person that likes these types of stories, like, I love these types of stories, alternate history stories, just stories about history. Uh, I mean, it's you're going to be enthralled just like I was. And alternate history, I mean, some of my favorite. It's, it's some of my absolute favorite. Just to change up one little, you know, a couple little details. The Nazis took over and Hitler's still alive and it's set in the 60s and and the, the Nazis have these special jet planes and like imagine things the way they could have been. And man, am I glad that they didn't end up that way because Nazis and the Japanese would not have been nice to us Americans. Now here's my not question for you, bro. Yes. Is this show a seller show? So if I don't currently use amazon prime video whatever is this the reason to start doing so absolutely not because i would not ever tell somebody to pay 99 dollars a year for one show and this show is good it's very good but it is not that good now i would tell you that you might as well go ahead and get amazon prime just because 99 dollars a year also gets you free two-day shipping on 90 percent of things you can buy on amazon it also gives you access to a crazy music library it also gives you access to all this streaming stuff so is Amazon Prime worth it? Absolutely. But if you were never, ever going to use anything else, if you were stuck in the Stone Age and you still go to gro- uh, like stores to buy stuff, not grocery stores, just regular stores to buy stuff, then, yeah, don't worry about it. You know, you don't need any two-day shipping. Even though it's awesome. And usually it comes in one day around here, so that's even better. But, mm. gotcha. but yeah, no, so it's not a seller show. But if I had to rate the season, I would sell, I'd give it a three and a half out of a five. And the series in general, three and a half out of five. So spectacular TV could be better, but could be a lot worse. And, and maybe I give it a four. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to really rate this one. How about this? I'm just going to say I thoroughly enjoy it. If you like any of those things, like the historical period, the alternate history, any of those, um, then it's very, very intriguing. If you hate all those things, then um, you probably won't like the show too much. You know? Makes sense. But hit us up and let us know what you think. Have you seen season two? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Uh, are you on my page? Should is it is it would it be the show that would make you buy Amazon Prime? That's the question I'm gonna say. If you like 
man the high castle and didn't have amazon prime already would this entice you to get it afterwards hit us up let us know comments down below of course at words my face on twitter google pause on facebook always good ways to get a hold of us